Hello everyone. So what is the big question that I am answer answering on my uh, this video? So the big question is how Corellium is useful for mobile application penetration testing. So we are going to look into that. First how we are going to create a devices. Okay. So this is a question and this video will give you the answers. My name is Michael Joshua and welcome to the Corellium for mobile pen testing videos. Let's start it. Okay, so mobile app pen testing with Corellium and Cafe. So we all know that uh, why Corellium is useful in the previous videos I have mentioned what is Corellium and here specifically for Android it, it offers different virtualized Android devices mainly it starts with Android 7 to the latest one Android 14 both frameworks like rooted as well as non rooted devices so you don't have to be uh, rely on physical devices while you testing so this not only uh, for devices and operating systems it has a built-in tools for pen testing <laughs> okay so that you know uh, for example I would say Frida Frida is already installed so that you don't have to be uh, uh, like configure Frida from your host as well as in the mobile devices and this mainly replaces physical devices for your security testing and research okay let's go directly to create new devices and power them up okay so here I'm this is the overview of what we are going to see here uh, here uh, this this like how you are going to utilize our uh, uh, skills on pen testing techniques so this is the application target application Corellium cafe mobile app to find many vulnerabilities that is designed in for for this application so this guide is broken into multiple sections like uh, find local storage network misconfiguration runtime but we are not going to look at those first we are going to see about what are the tools used or required there are two things one thing is uh, local tools and Corellium future tools and why we are using this to accomplish all the challenges so they mentioned that for the Corellium Cafe app, but when you use uh, uh, your applications for uh, mobile application security testing, in that cases, these are the local tools that you have to install in your uh, host machine, that is local machine. These are the Corellium offers these features and tools. It's already installed, it's already available in Corellium. That is network monitor, Frida, file browser, app installer, serial console, and ADB. Okay, here in the local tool that you need to install is APK tool that comes with uh, uh, is, you know, uh, I, I, I just I will, I will let you know what is that ADB uh, APK tool. All this comes with uh, a bundle, you know. Uh, let, let, I, will, I will let you know at the end of this. Um, with Android Studio, uh, so okay, sorry, uh, okay, let Jadex, Jadex is another reverse engineering tool, Android Studio, uh, here developer tools, yes, uh, developer tools, and then uh, if you click here, it goes, see, uh, Android Studio, uh, the futures, I, I don't want to focus over here, let me go back. Uh, so developer tools you have to download and then you have to install the burp shoot. Uh, they, are, they are mentioning that there is an alternative Corellium network monitor is available. But uh, if, you are, if you are familiar with that Corellium network monitor we will see about that. But before that this is our favorite tool for network capturing. Uh, then uh, we can use uh, DB browser for SQLite. Uh, that is SQLite browser, SQLite viewer and then these are the Corellium included features or tools that is network monitor, Frida, file browser, app installer, serial console and ADB. Then we are going into the first step that is creating your first virtual Android device. Okay, 
So after you created your account, you have to request a trial account to the Corellium, uh, Corellium, what they say, like uh, Corellium team. They then offer you for a limited number of devices. <laughs> okay, so usually they what they do provide. Um, so it's like 12 cores. I will explain about the cores. Before that, they mentioned the limited number of devices you can use, limited number of hours, maybe uh, 1,200 hours or 2,000 uh, hours per hour. So that you can utilize as per the requirement. And then maybe like, see, they would what they would consider mainly, when the device is powered on or passed, the device hours will be running. So they don't say that that's a stopping period. See, you are not using that. Why you want to... Uh, keep that device powered on or maybe passed okay if you are if you not using that just step away and power it off if you switch off then you can save those timings which which they offer for you during your trial setups okay now we will log in into the con first step then after that what you need to do create a device you see here uh, the left button create a device and the first choice create a device okay then what it next thing is like see here we have a, a four options uh, android we have already seen uh, thing is like all if it comes all you will see all the devices iphone pro max iphone pro but specifically we are moving into android as we have seen earlier android 7 version 2 and 14 versions are available now i am going to choose this android then I move for the uh, no, uh, option that we are having is generic Android. See here at the last they have mentioned requires two cores. As like I said earlier, iOS up to more than uh, uh, iOS 8 to the latest version, it, each device consumes six cores. But here it consumes only two cores. See the, the difference between the iOS and the Android. Android consumes two cores, iOS from 7, 8 to 4, uh, 14 or uh, 15 Pro, uh, like the latest version of iOS that consumes six cores. But in iOS less than 7, 8, that is 7 less than that, it would consume only two cores. Okay, it will be, you know, if, if you see here, uh, this will be mentioned for iOS as well. So we are clicking the generic. What's the difference? See here, after that, you will see the build R6 user debug. Suppose user debug, what it mentioned here. Uh, so, this is a version you can go for Android 14, Android 13, Android 12, anything else. After that, you will see user debug. This represents a router images. If it is a user, that's a non router. Okay, so what they have mentioned here it's a user debug that's a router device similar way for uh, ios you can create jailbroken or non jailbroken devices so the two options are available over there uh, then once you confirm the uh, versions whether it's android uh, uh, router or a non router you have to provide the name device name then create it okay now the device cre start to creating once it, it takes some time, like maybe like 10 minutes to, they would say 10 minutes, but sometimes it takes 20, 20 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, that depends upon the, uh, uh, the device. Uh, maybe uh, we are not sure. We need to check it down. Okay. So when I check, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes for me. Okay. So finally, the device has been created. See here, this is the exact look you will get. Once you create, see, this is the GUI we'll get on the right pan. You will see the device. The center is the console. Means like whatever you click, uh, see here on the left side, you would see different options. Connect, files, apps, network, core, trace, settings, Frida, console, sensors, snapshots. So we will look into that uh, deeply. But before that, I just want to show you like first option, they have click console. Because of that, I am able to see the console part. What is console? <laughs> console is nothing. Uh, no, it's just a directory that you are having. How, uh, um, how you will be get the ADB shell 
after that uh, it's, a, it's a shell you are having the same shell is binded over here you can directly access it okay mm, then what you need to do once that is an option called snapshot at the last option right snapshot what it is it is very similar to virtual devices that's virtual machines vmware virtual box we are having right what we do with that okay so first is fresh device there is no apps installed nothing in that case what i'm trying to take take a snapshot of that why i am taking what is the use of that maybe in the future uh, some some uh, chaos happen my configurations or my the application which I installed malfunction so that I'm unable to use the device properly in that case what I have done fresh I have taken the fresh snapshot that is clone the fresh status of the device I have stored it earlier now I am going to replace with the the uh, the latest means like the current one the current you know malfunction the devices what would happen see here uh, this is I'm just going to name it as a freshly restored device so what you need to do you have to turn off the device then you should take the snapshot once you take the snapshot this may take some few seconds and you have to name it as per like uh, you can snapshot one they have mentioned but you have to edit it and save save it as per your convenience like just you have to clear like you mentioned that clean snapshot okay so you can make it like fresh or uh, it's like first snapshot whatever the name you can give and that should be like it's, it's your convenience like you, you should be able to identify that okay so then turn on the device now you have taken your first snapshot okay now you have to proceed further it's it's a normal like you have taken the snap snapshot then it, we have to proceed for the next step so uh, the next thing is downloading the corellium cafe uh, it's simple right uh, uh, when you when you uh, you have already built and restored the device and what you need to here we are going to download see if I click download Corellium cafe that uh, see uh, uh, the APK file has been downloaded here then what we need to do uh, at the same time we have to use a JADX or APK tool we have to install uh, locally into the machine okay so this is the uh, answer for for the question that we have seen how to create a android devices on corellium we have seen all the features how we have created what are the options available how many cores it took like like ios two cores uh, below ios 7 ios 8 and then more than that uh, latest versions six cores but here it's everything is two cores uh, so you can create more devices with less cores uh, when I said course it's like CO or ES course okay so yeah so this video will give you the answers for your questions so my name is uh, Michael Joshua and then thank you for watching my videos if you have any questions just post in my in the comment section uh, if you like this video just please like it and um, subscribe to my channel for more uh, cybersecurity videos. Until then, thank you. Bye.